Kristen Finn here, and I'm so excited that you're here to join me to talk about using the at-home Medcovet Luma Laser on your dog. In my movie, every home has a laser to help their dog. So I'm just going to go through a few anatomy things so you feel more at home at using this laser. So we have our skeleton here, and we have, that's called Baxter, big dog and our great assistant, Malika. So it's my personal approach to laser therapy on your dog at home that we start at the top. No matter what's going on with your dog, a stifle problem, a knee problem, a shoulder problem, spending 30 seconds at the atlas, which is this first cervical vertebrae here in our skeleton, and you can't see the vertebrae or the bones in your dog, but on Malika, it will demonstrate it's right behind the head. So starting at the atlas, and all of us have had a gentle massage in this area, it's just a fantastic area to relax the dog. So I kind of do some gentle skin mobilization, and I recommend for all of my patients, spend 30 seconds on each side of the atlas as a way of opening up and starting to relax them. Then we have the cervical spine here, which corresponds to this region in Malika. And so if I was gonna treat her cervical spine, I would be absolutely perpendicular to her spine down low. So up here is muscle, but the bones are down here, down on the side. So I would use the surface area of the luma to just center it over the vertebrae, be in each spot, depending on how many spots have been written down for you in your program, which usually corresponds to how long the dog's neck is. And you just sit for 30 seconds to a minute, whatever your protocol calls for, on each side. So some people go left, 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 and then some people go left up here, right here, then left, then right. It really doesn't matter. So then we get down to the cervicothoracic junction, which is where the neck meets the shoulder girdle. And this is really a place where so many dogs get sore. And on our skeleton, that corresponds to right down here, where the neck is getting into the sternum or the shoulder girdle. So I really encourage a lot of people to treat that area, even if you just treat it for 30 seconds to a minute. And I'm gonna turn our laser on here so you guys can kind of get a feel of what it would be like. So I would just be holding it as far down the neck as you can get. And honestly, if the dog is laying on their side, you can get even further into this area. But for this, for the purposes of this video, we're just, the dog is just what we call sternal. And then if you feel like um, they're tight up here on top, on top, which would be like right here in the skeleton, then, then do a treatment there, whatever it called for. If it was a minute, do a minute here then a minute here, and then a minute on the right side. Then we're gonna move on our skeleton and our dog both. So this is the thoracic region. That means it's the region over the chest or the thorax, which in Malika corresponds to this area right here. So you're just holding it perpendicular to the body and you can actually do one program here, one here in the center, and one on the other side. And you would just hold it to your time allotment was through, and then you would move down. So we're gonna go all the way down the thoracic region, which is over the chest, and then where the chest meets the spine, or the lower back and that's called the thoracothorax lumbar region. That's a super common place for dogs to have issues. So on Malika, we're just right here where you can feel the last rib. She's a long-bodied dog. Some dogs are shorter than other dogs, so 
Sometimes the diagrams are going to show you a few regions here and then one or two here. Just going along the whole back is actually a fantastic idea. So then I'm just going to hold right here for my amount of time and I am in this region on the skeleton where the thorax or chest meets the lumbar vertebrae or the lower back. And then you would be moving on through the lumbar spine. So this area here, the low back, which in Malika corresponds to right here. And then the next region is the sacrum or the pelvis, which in Baxter is right here. And the, sac the sacral spine is the spine over that. So there's not going to be an anatomy quiz here. I just wanted you to become comfortable with what the skeleton looks like under the skin. Obviously, if you have a small dog, it's all the same parts and bones. Everything's just smaller. But just so you get more comfortable, because my goal for you is to become a fantastic at-home laser therapist to help your dog's pain. Coming up next will be a section where we're going over the foreleg, so the joints of the shoulder, the elbow, and the carpus or wrist, as well as the digits or toes, and the hip, the stifle, and the hock of the hind leg. So that's going to be what's coming up next, so don't go anywhere.